Hey doll friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Doll Tube. So today I am going to dress up some passies. So a lot of times with our um, dolls that we get, they'll come with these little basic passies. They're just basic white. I think I might even have a blue one somewhere. I'm not sure if I kept it or not. Um, these have just been like thrown in a drawer. But I decided that I might dress these up and use them for photo props. And also, um, I'll, you can use ones like it. You get at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So, but what I'm going to do is, here's one I have done before. This one come from Dollar Tree. So, I just dressed this up. And added this little frog on it. And this is a crochet... Um, passy clip that I had made and I do have this on a video tutorial and I will link that in the description box below if you're interested in seeing this video but that's what I'm doing today so you're going to need some of these basic passies or these Dollar Tree passies uh, some good strong scissors uh, glue gun and glue sticks although I will say the glue gun eventually they will pop off if you use something like um, a 6000 or something like that, they most likely won't. And I'm going to say up front that I'm not recommending this for a real baby because these pieces could come off of this. So I'm only recommending this for your reborn dolls. You're also going to need some little buttons or charms or things like that. This is what I'm going to be using to put on these passies. Um, there's some more that I have. So, let's get busy and see what we can create here. Alright, so, what you want to do is take your button. I have these little monkey heads. I'm going to save those two for another project. Okay, so these are the ones that have that little loop. So, I'm going to take my strong scissors, or you could take wire cutters or whatever, and I'm going to clip that off of the back it's as flat as you can get it and um, it's on there just a little bit so what you can do if you don't have any sandpaper to rub that over or a sand block you can rub that on some concrete like a brick or steps or a sidewalk something like that you could just rub that on there real quick to knock those down all right so this is what I'm gonna do I'm going to take this passy right here, and I'm going to put this B on here, like that. So I'm just going to take my glue gun that's been heating up. It feels like it's kind of warmish, although it is a cool chimp gun. And I'm going to put a big dab of hot glue right there in the middle. And like I said, this hot glue will eventually, the thing will pop off with hot glue eventually. If you want to use like super glue or the E6000, it would probably stay on there longer. But when mine pop off, I'm just going to glue them back on. No worries. I keep my hot glue gun right by my desk, so I can always pop it back on. Alright, then I'm going to take one and put, let's see which one I should pick trying to see the different shapes of them um, I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna put this Mickey Mouse head on one try not to let it get all stringy but Sometimes that can't be helped. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that Mickey Mouse head right there. Make sure it's straight. And then pull off my hot glue strings. So there we go. Alright. And now I'm going to take one. And I have the Minnie Mouse head. And same thing, I just clip those off of the back. This one I'm going to try putting it on this one. That way I can wipe it 
as I'm pulling that away. Just smushing it on there, making sure it's straight before I set it over to dry. Uh, let's see. I have this little owl one, but I think I'm going to save it in case I ever get Paradise Gallery's doll, Hoot Hoot. He is so cute. He's a tiny little preemie doll, if you don't know. <laughs> and his little theme is owls, and his name is Hoot Hoot. So I'm going to save this one in case I ever do get him. I'll have that to make put on his little passy that comes with him. Okay, so this one, let's see. Oh, that would be cute. So I'm going to just put hot glue on the back. And stick that right there. And pull off my glue strands. Oh, that one's cute. I like that. Alright, and I have a um, little daisy one that I wanted to use. So I'm going to just open it enough to get out a little one. And I'll cut that off the back if it'll cut. <laughs> well, this one's hard to cut. Make sure I get that in the garbage so the dog doesn't don't get it. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna put this little daisy one right there. That's cute. Alright, so now I have these two pink ones left. And I have these little pink um, hearts that came from Walmart. So I'm just going to um, cut one of these across the bottom. I, have, I bought these for a different project that I just haven't finished yet. Let's see if I can't just slide that out. Yeah. Okay. So I don't want to put red. I'm going to put pink. And these are already sticky. So it might just stick right on there. Oh, but I didn't get it centered. Still didn't get it centered. <laughs> I'm going to peel it up so many times that I have to use hot glue with it. <sighs> yep. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Okay, so now that just put a little bling on that one. Alright, and then I still have frogs I could put on some. But I have these. this one that I did, and also this other little frog one so I still have a few more of those left I might next time I go to Walmart look for some more buttons and put on those but I have this little daisy one heart Mickey and Minnie I really like the monkey one and then I have the little bee one so that's my quick project for today is um, just dressing up some little passies to Give them some characters on them or just a, you know, a different look instead of just the plain white passies. But I thank you for watching. <coughs> Excuse me. I thank you for watching. I really appreciate everyone who watches my videos. And I hope you come back to watch more videos. See you soon. Bye, guys.